Hello, for the two people that are watching, it's me, Nunyaboy101, and today I uh, got the Lego Spider-Man Bike Rescue set because, honestly, I just really wanted the minifigures in this set, um, the Carnage, the Miles Morales, and the Spider-Man. I don't have all three of them because I don't, I haven't got any new Lego sets recently, and so I don't really even have any of those web, new web pieces, and I don't have the spider the spider man that they're using in a lot of the sets plus it's got the newer miles morales and the newer carnage i don't have the older ones so can't compare them but i can compare the old and the new spider man but yeah anyways um yeah that's um let's get on with the set as of now the set is completed and um let's start with the minifigures the first minifigure we have right here is this variant of Spider-Man. I actually do not have this variant because um, I do not have any of the sets that come with this guy. But this is like the one that is common in all like the Spider-Man sets. He's like the main one, like the one that appears in like half of all of the sets. He's got like the classic spider print, um, um, blue pants with like red boots. Um, blue sleeves with black gloves. We got the classic spider in the middle. On the back printing, we got some webbing that's not all the way around the head, but um, it's on the back. Um, got the nice little Spider-Man logo there. And yeah, I mean, it's basically just a classic regular minifigure. That's it. And right here, I have the Spider-Man that used to appear in all the old Spider-Man sets. Um... This is the one right here. He's like a, wait a sec. He's like a little comparison of them. This um the old one's eyes are wider and has definitely a lot more blue than red on than the other one. And so you can see this is the back printing here. Uh, my Spider-Man's my old one is kind of like weathered out because. Let me just say I did not treat Legos well when I was little. And so, I mean, there is a variant, I'm pretty sure, with the um, red boots and um, blue pants for this Spider-Man, but I do not have that. And yeah, that's it for this Spider-Man. Next up, we have this nice little Miles Morales figure. I really wanted this one, honestly. I mean, just like the overall printing and just the fact that he's Miles Morales. That's the, I just really wanted this one. As you can see, he's got these webs here. Let me just take them off so you can see him better. Oh, did I just take off his hands? Okay, well, we'll show him without hands. Um, so basically he's got like these wide, um, wide, um, white eyes with mostly just black printing. Kind of like, kind of like this first Spider-Man here, except it's like all black and red instead of blue and Red. Kinda looks like that. I think they use that design a bit. Um, you got the red spider in the middle. With the let me just take this guy out. Um, I'm pretty sure the first Miles Morales' his eyes were a bit narrower. But that's like all the pretty much the difference. On the back, the head printing like the last Spider-Man um continues. And then we got this um Actually, I really like this um, idea with the spider like hanging down from the web right here. That's like really cool. I really like that. And basically, that's just Miles Morales. Let me put his hands with his thingies back on his webs. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's basically Miles Morales with these nice little webs that I really like. I do not have any of these pieces right here, like, um, the little transparent clip pieces. I do not have them, and I really wanted them, so I'm glad I got them with this set. Uh, this set, I think, was a good choice because I didn't have any of these new web pieces either. And I really think that it was a good choice. So yeah, that's it for Miles. My last minifigure we have right here is Carnage. Yeah, I also really, really wanted this guy. He looks really cool. I love this minifigure. Well, uh, um, I want this guy for three reasons. Number one, he has all these like tendrils stick out of him, which I really like. And um, he, more of these transparent pieces right here come with Carnage. 
which I really needed for my stop motions and stuff, so that's neat. Number two, I mean, I already have Venom, because this is like the very original Venom, the first one that ever came out, I'm pretty sure. That looks nice, with the, I don't know where his tendrils went, but that's not the point. And so why not get Carnage to get the little symbiote duo right there. And then last, he's, look at this guy, he's just like a giant behemoth of tendrils and tentacles. But he looks super cool. And um, if you want to see the printing better, let me just take these guys off and push these guys back more. What I really like about this guy, and sets it apart from the other minifigures, is not just the tendrils, but this guy actually has leg printing, unlike Spider-Man or Miles Morales that came in this set. I really love the leg printing here, it's like all these veins, same with the torso, it's got all these veins sticking out. I really just like his head, it's pretty cool. I really like this Carnage minifigure, and you it's like on this little back plate. I have this back plate for like the Outriders. I'm pretty sure, like, this is, like, the one that the Outriders have. Got some more printing with the veins on the back. And let's see, let me just take off the back plate with all the tendrils. So you can see Carnage more clearly. His back. He's got all the, the, um, printing doesn't go around the back, sadly. But, I mean, um, that strangely looks like a heart right there in the center, but got all these veins coming out of the back. Overall, I just really love this minifigure. It's great. I I love, like, all three minifigures that come in this set. They're really great. So, yeah, that's Carnage. Next up, we're going to look at the main build of this set, which is this ginormous spider bike. I don't know why it's so big. I have this... I have the original one from the Spider-Man um, cycle chase with Nick Fury's car and the Venom figure and the Spider-Man figure I just showed you and Nick Fury, which I don't have here at this moment, but I have him somewhere, and yeah, this is like just a behemoth of a bike, it's really, really big, so, um, basically how Spider-Man fits in here, here, where is Spider-Man, um, did you disappear, dude, crap, okay, so Spider-Man, he fits in a very awkward position, first of all, how would he even just, like, get up here, that's like, Take a ginormous leap up here, which isn't very hard for him. Or he has to crawl up here and just web swing his way up here. And if you position him right, you basically just slot him into this in a very uncomfortable position, I would imagine. And like, uh, I can't position him right. I don't know why. What is this? Um, even it's hard for me to put it in. All right, there. Um, you basically like slide him in there. It's not even that comfortable but yeah that's him then um he doesn't really grab the handlebars that well honestly but yeah that's how he fits in there oh but overall even like without the negatives this bike has a really even with the like the big like the bad parts like about being big and spider-man's like fitting into there i really actually like the design though like these cannons on the side and it's like sleek um performance what I also really like about this is that, um, actually, um, I don't know why, but they, this is like a build feature. I feel like this could be used as a weird trunk here, although it's not meant for that. Um, that's pretty cool. And what I really like about this is that you can even, like, position it like this on the sides and stuff. And it's really mobile, honestly, which is really cool. I really like it. Got some headlights right here. Stickers, um, stickers are painful to put on tail lights and so the play feature of this thing is this little cannon right here basically it just shoots out these little spider things the set comes with two of these it's basically just the transparent blue stud and this weird spider thing but yeah it's actually pretty cool and then there's also all these webs which i really like so basically if you just want to like position them and put them in a positions to for display. This is like a really nice position with the web shooting out. You can't actually shoot this so you just have to like take it out and plus these webs can be used for better purposes like for the minifigures but yeah um, this is actually a really nice um web thing. And the bike overall it's like amazing. I actually really do like this bike. 
the other, um, the older one that came with the Venom guy right here, which came with the Venom right here and this Spider-Man, was like smaller and like, honestly, but, and it didn't have any play features, but that bike was good too, um, but this bike, man, I actually really like it besides the fact that it's way too big and Spider-Man fits in an awkward position, I really like it. The last feature for this set is basically this nice little generator here. It's got um like these nice stickers right here on this like transparent panel. This one says danger. This one's like reading some readings that are you can't see. This one I really like this like plate like just like falling off. That's a nice little design with all these wires coming out. And basically it's all this like caution stuff. These webs, um, you basically just attach these with these weird skeleton arms, and you can just, like, put them on here, like, Spider-Man just, like, webs them on here so the generator doesn't blow up or anything. So, overall, like, a nice little build, got a lot of these yellow, yellow, yellow pieces. Ah, I can't talk today. Um, got a, it's overall a nice design, and the play feature for this is, I mean, you could do it with the webs, but it's easier without them. Basically, you just press this little panel in the back. When you do, it goes kaboom. That wasn't really a big of an explosion, but yeah, basically, if you just do that, um, the thing will just go kaboom. Kaboom. It's not really great, but better than nothing, honestly. That's basically just the generator. Yep. Um... Yep, that's the generator. Yeah, so that's it for this Lego Spider-Man bike rescue set. Didn't have many play features, but I really like the minifigures and the bike and the generator. And overall, I think it was a good set. And plus the webs. I like the webs, of course. Yeah, and overall, I think it was a good set. And I want to pick up the box. It's just like a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. There's like these little handcuffs and you can like handcuff carnage up like where's carnage gum um, there's these like wide pan cuffs i can't believe i forgot it up till i forgot about them so basically you just like make carnage grab these somehow like, like basically this one little pole thing right here that carnage just grabs it's really hard and uh, it was easier to put in earlier and then boom looks like he's handcuffed just like on the back and um, yeah, as you can see, it just shows the play feature there. It exaggerates this part. It shows all the webs here. And overall, I really like this set. So, hope you enjoyed this set review. Nanny Boy 101 for the... Yeah, for the two people who are watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Nanny Boy 101. Peace out.